Wait, didn't you say there was a that old man gives you the heat resist? Yeah. Somewhere? Yeah, you just have to get like a spicy pepper, a fish, and uh, something else. And in the beginning, in the beginning plateau. Do you remember exactly where it was? I Yeah, probably. It was down, it was definitely not quite all the way down there, but certainly to the right there in those trees there. You here? Yeah, in there, yeah? I'm pretty okay. sure. Because it'd be nice just to have the cold resist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, you're going to need a fish for a large bass or something. Yeah, if I need a f- Actually, you know what? I haven't been using these, and I don't know why. Mm. All of these give me shit. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah? Yeah, like I can use they them once a day. And like the Wind Waker ones give me fish, actually. Like oh. a shitload of random fish. Where you fucking go? Um, unless I need like a specific... Specific Where are you one. scanning on there? Literally on the controller. Oh, there's, like there's, each controller has yeah, it? Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. What about the uh, the Switch ones? Uh, it's How in you... here. It's in the control stick. Oh, it's in the stick? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a chest there. that I don't remember that. I wonder if it's like, you didn't do it, so... Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, <it's> sweet. <laughs> that's awesome. Yep, that's exactly All what All right, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey, oh, welcome back okay. to. All right, yeah. if you notice, this is exactly how the last episode. Yeah, started. except look at my well, sweet tunic. Yeah, we we got some warm gear. Yeah, the cold desert night should no longer bother us. Yes. Um, but and we are also heading, uh, over to the side here to a little to uh, a little oasis, little, out in the little oasis there, way out there. Yeah, we're gonna um, get some girl clothes. Yeah, uh, everyone knows that's where you get them. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh. This episode, we we both in uh, preparation, uh, kind of, also kind of. just out of our own yeah. curiosity and, and <laughs> leisure, mm-hmm. listened to uh, a recent podcast with Sam Harris and, oh god, what was his name? Dude, I don't know. Oh remember. no. Okay, really sorry to that guy, yeah. <laughs> um, but essentially he was, you know, a leading expert on climate change, he worked in the Clinton administration, a lot of other work um, in the science community and everything. And, um, yeah, it was like an hour and a half long conversation or Mm -hmm. so on, um, essentially what it boiled down to for Sam Harris, you know, and I think it sort of touches on throughout the whole hour and a half, although a little more at the end that I didn't catch Mm -hmm. of, yeah, what do you say to, to sort of skeptics and, um, you know, why is it such a huge critical thing? You know, what are the things that we know about it now? Um, that kind of thing, just general information on the topic. I think, I think a lot of the first hour ish was more of like what is going to happen if we don't do anything about right it? yeah 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 um, and then they kind of get into yeah and i liked his focus on um well first of all i you know something that doesn't get brought up a lot but i think definitely should is that um you know what happens when when the world warms right in mm-hmm. terms of who's most vulnerable yeah and mm-hmm. he goes on to talk about you know the most arid places on earth becoming you know temperate arid yeah. type places and just going into deserts um which you know obviously it was going to be a very big problem especially because i guess what's a place like that he was like mexico yeah you know yeah. um so it's, it's going to shift people around populations are going to oh, you know population centers are going to get messed up and uh mm. you know it has it has a lot of you know far-reaching impacts because you know while a lot of people live in uh, you know, wet, you know, climates or cold climates. I mean, you know, it's, it's it, the, 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 the warmer climates now are going to become uninhabitable and, you know, colder clients that we, uh, climates we have now are going to become, you know, slightly more, I guess, habitable, but it's yeah. just, but the shifting around of people, and, you know, is just such yeah, a, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And even, not even just like the warm and cold areas, but like our, uh, our, our coasts are going to yeah, be basically completely uninhabitable. Right. Like, and that's where the majority, like, people like Everyone water. Everyone lives, yeah. Like, people live near water. That's where the majority yeah, of our yeah, population yeah. lives, and we're all just going to be and, pushed in. And Sam like, Harris did say, well, you know, you just set up shop further inland, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, on the yeah. new coast. Yeah. But, yeah. but not, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to, because it would still be a catastrophe in the meantime, you know what I mean? Yes. I, I think yeah. that's, my biggest takeaway on the discussion has always been, for a long time now, you know, None of this is going to mean the death of the Earth. Yeah. The climate yeah, on the yeah. top of the, you know, the Earth started off as a giant rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't, none of this affects its existence as a planet, which I think some people get a little 
Yeah, uh, when they get a little confused because yeah. that's not really what we're talking about. What we're talking about is trying to preserve life the way it is. Yes. Because I still think life will persevere anyway. I oh, mean, most it, likely. You know, it, it, yeah, there's yeah. no way it wouldn't. I mean, but things would completely change. Right, but it's things just, are, you know, you know yeah. cause, uh, right. The, the only thing that would happen is we'll change the earth significantly enough that we can no longer live. Then we stop doing what we were doing and things, you know, sort of, uh, either go back or change in a different way and a different life pops up. I mean, yeah. that's the nature of things, but back to their discussion mm -hmm. on the topic. Yeah. Um, he mentioned, you know, this moving of people and, and, and different climates around the world, uh, being a big security risk that, that even, you know, the CIA has considered to be a huge, um, incredible threat because of what, you know, will happen. Um, you know, I mean, they've, we've, a lot of people know that the, obviously water as a resource, um, is very much up for grabs in the future with, you know, yeah. overpopulation and things like that. So that's just another angle to it. They definitely go on and on about the different climates and what it means. Um, but yeah, the part of the discussion that I've always had is what do you tell people that are still skeptical about it? What do you yeah. still, um, and maybe you want to, you know, what, do you know what, what, how he responded? So it's, it's, it's tough. Cause, um, I think, he kind of, um, he went into basically discussing where we got the whole, like, 97% of scientists number. Right. And how it came, it came from, like, a half a dozen or so um, peer-reviewed studies that basically looked at every um, paper that was published um, about climate change and basically got the consensus from that, um, which I think works for people that accept the method of science. Right. But the one thing they didn't go into, which I'm a little, I was a little disappointed about, was um, the fact that it, a lot of people don't really pay attention to that stuff. Right. And a lot of people, when they hear the 97%, they say, oh, that's that's just some number that they came up with. It really doesn't mean anything. Right, like, right. And I think that's something that they just didn't really touch upon. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it is a little disappointing because... Yeah. Um, you know, you need to do a lot more, I think, to put in perspective the overwhelming majority of people, and 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 not only not only who's saying it, but why they're saying it, where they're come from, mm -hmm. you know, where they're coming from, because I, I think there's a lot of misinformation that it's sort of it's another mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason. I mean, I you know, who knows who benefits from. Uh, pushing global warming, but yeah, yeah. you know, I, I can't really, ju I can't really come up with that explanation. Now it's too hot. Yep, this is this is rough. <laughs> um, do you have? Can you take off your clothes and be okay? I don't think so. Oh God, maybe. I don't know. Maybe getting take naked? off the warm double at least. No, that doesn't help. Okay. Oh, wait, does it a little I, bit? Maybe a tiny, maybe just enough. No, nope. nope. Okay. Well, this sucks. Uh, I did go to the place where I thought the guy was going to be, and he's usually there, but for some reason he wasn't. And I have a feeling I just needed to trigger something, and I think it was this guy. So, okay. Um, All right, well... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... You know what? We're going to pause for a second. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I have to look this up. <laughs> All right. Okay. Figure out um, what actually needs to be done. You're going to see something very familiar. Um, but based on our conversation right now, the gameplay is sort of uh, background, uh, enjoyable, uh, something for your eyes. Yeah, just something to look at. Something pretty. Um, you know, we'll eventually get to the gameplay. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> this is kind of just Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how this goes. Um, so, yeah. I, one of the things that they got into... Uh, earlier in the podcast that I mm -hmm. uh, definitely mentioned to you and, and some others where um, Sam Harris asks, he's he's like, okay, um, in the situation that, you know, we don't know what's causing climate change, let's just assume that, you know, it's happening. Yeah. You know, then, you know, you know, how does that, you know, be, because of that, you know, what, how does that change things? Is that good enough? Is that, you know what I mean? He yeah. sort of wanted to say, you know, and, and I've, and I've made, try to make that argument before where, yeah, if the, if, if the climate is changing, regardless of why, wouldn't yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. be on board with wanting to do something? Yeah. What well, could we, because we could figure out, yeah. right. Because the science shows that, you know, not only is the change 
rapid, but it also seems incompatible with the type of life and the type of Earth that we have come to know. Yeah. And that seems not desirable. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so, but but to this, uh, this gentleman responded sort of just by not really wanting to... I don't know if I could call it a thought experiment, kind of, I guess. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. And he just didn't even want to buy into the terms of this. And that was like... And, and it was yeah. a little bit of a... It was frustrating because yeah. I understood where he was coming from, right? Yeah. You know, he's 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 a scientist. He, he was he was super knowledgeable, but he like wasn't even uh, accepting the fact that... It seemed like he wasn't accepting the fact that there are people out there that just don't really think the same way that he does and doesn't take this information... Yeah, fact. even at the and end, he was still sort of... Yeah, just it didn't really seem like... I I, I don't know how to explain it. I was, I was also working while I was okay, listening okay. to this. We but, should, we should but... go back and listen to this again, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe more justifiably have a discussion on yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Because I don't want to twist uh, words or, or... No, no. But, I, but... You know, I try not to say, yeah, say yeah, yeah. everything. Um, there was one thing that I really liked. Uh, one analogy that Sam Harris uh, just... made... No, it's basically like if you, like the analogy that he made is like if you have, say, like cancer or something Uh and, you know, you're looking for a doctor, you wouldn't go to the one out of a hundred doctors that would tell you that everything's fine. You'd look for the doctor that would say something's wrong and here's what we can do about it. Right. You know, and and that's just always kind of, that's kind of spoke to me. It's like, why, like you said, if the climate is changing and rapidly why wouldn't we attempt to at least look at it? Yeah. Instead of just completely supposed to put it to the side. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. okay. Or she, <laughs> sorry. It's supposed to be a woman. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, what's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Oh, sorry. I didn't think about it. I'm sorry. I couldn't be more help. <laughs> I'm going to study your, her face. Hey, you're making my cheeks worm looking at me like that. Uh, you're you're very beautiful you're... for a man. You know, to be honest, you can't tell, right? Yeah, from this, not not at like, all. Um, but you'll see. But like, it's supposed to be obvious. What do you think? Do you want to? Oh 200? no! I have to buy them. Oh God! This I have a... to buy them. Yo, this Google, is the Google, how to get lots of rupees immediately. Right. Wait, wait, wait. What if you drop that that your amiibos? Is oh shit! Sh- oh <laughs> shit! Oh, that's right. Amiibos, the one thing I haven't been using like ever. <laughs> it's gotta get. You can at least sell some stuff, right? Oh, probably. Yeah. Let's let's try this shit. You can't. Please turn airplane mode off. Turn it off. Oh, you know what? It's because I was using this. Um, in an airplane. On an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Oh! Boom! Yeah, look at all that. Look at all that stuff. Oh, all this herbs. herbs. All these oh, herbs. Warm, warm saffron and more. Oh, so warm. Carrots. Oh, carrots. Mm. This oh, isn't this quite is as food. This yeah, isn't. Yeah. <laughs> I try to make it. Exact. <laughs> We're both just like oh. <laughs> so much food. <laughs> we want to sell it so hard. <laughs> All right, well, that's, I got a shield. Yeah, yeah that's, I mean, cool. that's a good shield. All right, right? you'll probably use that. Yeah, okay, so that's all right. One. That was one out of four, though. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got a few more. Let's see. This should give me a bunch of fish. Nice. Get all that fish. Oh, oh high roll bass. We haven't like looked at shit in this game, so everything's popping up. Everything's as new. totally now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, look at all these mighty carps. Volt fin trout. Oh man, if only you caught any of these. Oh, <laughs> yep, <yeah>, okay. <laughs> nice. Some boomerang. <laughs> Inventory. It's a pretty good boomerang, though, so I'm going to take it. You could tell by the stats. It was, yeah. That's 22. Attack up plus. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. Your inventory's yeah. full, you idiot. I know. Okay, I just all right. The stats. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> I don't want to do this. You don't anymore. have a boomerang. I don't, but I'm going to. Did we establish that, right? Didn't you, listen. We, uh, I think so. Okay. Just now. I don't Sometime. Think so. It was a while ago. I actually stated I didn't like boomerangs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's a good one though, that changes things. This, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a sweet one. Ooh, yes. Ooh, all I can right, totally all right. get it. Okay. Okay, nice. I think you'll get enough with that, but I'll keep reading through this. We'll make this episode a little long because I think we still want to talk a, a touch a minute on yeah. wrapping up with that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we need to go across multiple episodes talking about that discussion. Nah, nah, nah. We'll, we'll, All right. You we'll have plenty have now, so I'm going to back too, off. So. All right. Okay, cool. That worked that out. Was much easier than I thought it was. All okay. right. 
But yeah, um, just to, to just to wrap up. So essentially, he, you know, the thought experiment was regardless of why, assume you know, yeah, what do we what do we do in that position? Yeah, and he didn't want to play that game. He wanted to be like, you know, I understand the science. Yeah, and Here's it's human facts. made, right? Yeah. And I and I get that view, but yeah. at the same time, I mean, it's it's prioritizing the definitely where I would like us to end up. But it's not, there's not a, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same exact. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. It's just one of those things where it's like, it's trying to force it too hard. There's no tact. There's no yeah. sort of moving with the current, um, the cultural current or whatever. Nice. It's so actually beautiful. not the worst looking outfit. No. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. No. No. You look adorable. <laughs> he just Aww, blushes. So blushy. It's just so cute. Great. Oh, beard. Ha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass. God damn it. If I want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll end it there. Yeah, that yeah, sounds, that good. sounds good. All right. All right. See you later. Stop doing math. <laughs>